everyone, so today I decided to actually set my hair using a curling iron because I wanted to do a hairstyle without having to set it the night before. For any of you who don't like to do that or don't have time to do that, you can just set your hair uh, with a curling iron and then do your makeup while you wait for them to cool down. Once they're cool, you can go ahead and take out all the clips and then you're just going to want to brush it all out. Um, I just kind of set my hair to get some curl. You don't need too much, too, too much curl for this, uh, hairstyle. Then you're going to want to start to section off the front. And again, um, like usual, I'm using the tips of my ear for a guideline. And then I'm going to use the top points of my eyebrows to section off the two sides. And then you're going to want to just uh, separate that middle part uh, for right now. So I'm just going to clip it away to the back. And like a few of the other ones, um, you're going to just start to tease the both sides. And once you've got them nice and teased, you're going to want to smooth them out. I'm using a little bit of my Suavecito, uh, Suavecita pomade for that. And then I'm going to create the little victory rolls right there, on both sides. Now for the middle section, you're going to want to part it a little offset from what would be the middle. And then for the first curl, you're going to start to form uh, pin curls. And you don't want to add any teasing to that. The next two, you want a little teasing for a little bit of height. And you're basically just creating um, flat and stand-up pin curls in this section. Right here, I'm using a little bit of my grooming spray for that last section because that's pr probably the one that would show the most. So you want it to be a little neater. And I'm going to use a hairpin for that curl. So... Because if you were to use a bobby pin, it would it would smash it in there a little more. Now, for this section, you're going to want to section in two. I'm going back because I want a little more for the back section than the front. And here you're just going to create three flat pin curls. I'm referencing um, a photo as the other ones I've been posting. Um, so I'm trying to get it as much as I can to the photo to look exactly like that hairstyle as it can. Okay, so for this back section, you're going to section it off and give it a tease so it has a nice base and a little height. Um, then you're going to want to smooth out that top part of it so you don't see too much frizziness. And then create some more uh, kind of stand-up, half stand-up, half flat pin curls there. And you're going to repeat that for the next two sections. For the last section, um, you're going to, again, want to use a hairpin. Um, these are like bobby pins, if you don't know, <laughs> uh, just to clarify a little. But um, they're open, they're not so closed, so they just help hold um, whatever hair section you're trying to hold. Uh, it's not too much of a firm hold, I guess I can say. And again, I'm going in with some grooming spray to calm down any frizziness. Now, for the back, you're going to, 
either you can leave it that way if you'd like, or here I'm just going to tease the entire back section. And basically I'm going to do what I do um, when I create that fake bob, that fake curly 40s type bob. So I'm going to pin a semicircle, but this time I'm pinning the sides a little further back than I would for the fake short hair look. And then again, you're just going to want to bunch up, pin, and pin basically. Um, I kind of like these hairstyles. I feel like they're all kind of similar but different um, in their own ways. And it's great because then it gives you uh, more more um, styles to practice with, I guess. They're all similar enough to practice with, but they all look a little different. Once you're done uh, pinning, I'm going to want to go ahead and give it a good spray with hairspray. I'm using Suave and Extreme Hold 10. And that's pretty much it. Uh, as usual, I hope you guys like this. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you'd like. Leave your comments and requests. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.